Hi everyone. In this short video, I'm going to take you through some key tips and resources we have here at Freshy to help you manage your assessment tasks smartly. With your new yearly wall planner, like the example here, you're now able to see those times of the year when you'll be particularly busy with assessment tasks. If they're the multiple of them due in the same week, or over back-to-back -back weeks, like over here, along with your exam blocks, like trial exams in Term 3. Now we know you've heard it time and time again. Start your assessment tasks as soon as you get them, or don't leave your tasks until the last minute. But with these busy periods in front of you, along with the obvious added meaning of assessment tasks in Year 12, this concept of managing your time as effectively as possible is now more important than ever. As it says on the page here for this week's session, breaking down your assessment tasks into more manageable chunks is an absolutely vital key to success during your senior studies. And doing this well enables you to feel less overwhelmed, get started with the tasks earlier, as well as balance your tasks when you have multiple of them due around the same time. However, we know your tasks may not always point out or make it obvious what those smaller chunks or steps should be. That's why we've created a tool that you can use alongside your teachers to break down your tasks by identifying those chunks or steps, as well as to record other important task info. And I'm going to take you through how to use that tool now. So to find it, remember we're now navigating to Year 12 mentoring sessions. And this is our first session for Term 4, Assessment Planning and Smart Task Management. Scroll down past the planner stuff you've just looked at to Smart Task Management, and then click on the image to open the template. Now we need to make a copy of this in order to edit it. And I'm going to base this example on a task you're all familiar with, which is the second Year 11 English Assessment Task the multimodal podcast task. So I'm going to rename this file Year 11 English AT number two, breakdown example, make that copy. And I'm going to make that bigger so it's clear for everyone to see. And we're going to firstly start with part one, the basic task details. So, we have English Standard, and I'll just put Year 11 there to distinguish. We've got Assessment 2. The weighting of that task is 40%, and we've been instructed to submit it to Google Classroom. Next on to Part 2, the final due date details, which is Thursday, the 15th of June, 2023. which is week eight of term two. Now, obviously we wanna make sure that date is recorded on a wall planner or in a diary and or set up on your big day countdown. So if you have a Mac, you might be familiar with big day countdown. And that's basically this thing here where you can see countdowns to important events. Like I've got the summer holidays starting as my example. So using that is super easy, allows you to create events, color code them, add notifications for those events. So you get a ping when you need to do a particular job and it's really, really popular for those reasons. Back to the planner. Now the most important part of this is part number three, where we're breaking the task down into smaller chunks. However, it can sometimes be unclear in your tasks exactly what all the steps to completing them should be, like we've said. But for this example, I've consulted with an English teacher who suggested all the steps, starting with part number one, which is mind mapping the question and different approaches to answering it, to step two, looking for supporting evidence for each approach in the text, then selecting the approach I want to go with and start drafting. These are jobs, as you can see, which is I can start as soon as I've got the task. So 
we're imagining that's week four of term two. I've put a couple of those jobs into uh, week four and one into week five. Now be smart with your time planning along the right hand side. Space it out so you're not leaving too many jobs too late and give yourself plenty of time for the big ones. So for example, for the last job, recording the podcast, I've been, I know that that may take several sound checks and takes. So I've told myself to start that at the beginning of week eight when the task is due in Thursday of week eight. To get the real benefit out of part three, you need to record each job and the completion goal, that is the time you want to complete each job by in a diary or a weekly planner. That way, you're keeping yourself accountable for each chunk of the task. The weekly goal setting plan is available to you from the mentoring website. They're here at the bottom of this week's session. Are excellent for planning out your smaller jobs for each subject day by day. And they give you that opportunity to track your progress by ticking off the jobs as you do them. Here you can see an example of a weekly goal setting planner in action with the five subjects being studied along the top, then with the jobs balanced around the week that have to be done. Just remember to balance those jobs across your subjects on given days, particularly at those times where you have multiple tasks due around the same time like we've talked about. Plus, as it says down the bottom, use at least two weeks worth of planners at any one time to keep yourself organized for multiple weeks. Back to the breakdown planner. Part four is also really important and that's about drafting. This is where you can identify whether drafting for your task is allowed. And if so, the details for drafting. In, for this task, there is drafting allowed, uh, but there was a cutoff date that we had to have that draft to our teacher. So Thursday, the 1st of June, two weeks before the task is due. Reason why the teachers have set it for them is so that we have time to edit our draft from our feedback. So you can see that I've planned back in my jobs to edit from my feedback in week seven of, of term two. So that's really important to keep that time available to make the most of your feedback. Now part number five, is just for you to record any other tips or tools that can help you with the task, like scaffolds, examples, study guides, etc. For instance, with this task, Lotus Mind Maps, which are available from the library, can really help me for job number one, which is mapping out uh, the question and the different approaches that I would have for it. Also, for the drafting stage, examples provided by my teacher to help with that will be really handy. Now, as long as your smaller jobs to complete the tasks are recorded in a diary or planner, and you stay aware of the other bits of info we've filled in, you don't need to print this template. It's really here as an early planning tool, a way of identifying how to make each task more manageable so that you can start it ASAP. For instance, having one of these open, ready to fill out in those lessons when your teacher first hands out and explains a task in class can help you to record all that important info and then make your progress from there. Back to the mentoring website for this week's session, Quickly. At the bottom, you can see there are also some tips on effective diary use, as well as a link to the big day countdown for Max that I showed you before. Best of luck with all your future tasks, and remember, don't leave them to the last minute.